UC San Francisco, we attract an incredibly talented student population. As one of the 10 campuses of the University of California, UCSF is unique in that we train only graduate students. We have 900 students training for their PhDs in the life sciences. When we do basic science investigations, the engines of that research are our graduate students. These are young people who come to UCSF because they have a passion for science. They want to work with the talented faculty we have here. And together, side by side in the laboratory, they're working on creating new developments and making innovative discoveries that are going to be the foundation for the cures of tomorrow. My laboratory works on infectious disease, primarily viruses and Plasmodium falciparum. That's the causative agent of the most deadly form of human malaria. Now what's interesting about malaria is it's not a problem that gains a lot of big pharma money or corporate interest, yet the graduate programs here at UCSF allow students the freedom to tackle really tough problems, like malaria, which is one of global health importance. Of course, in my own work, graduate students have been absolutely crucial. For example, in 2003, when we were helping to solve the mystery of the SARS coronavirus, I had a very talented young graduate student named Anatoly Urisman, and we were really perplexed on trying to get real sequence from this new virus. And he came up with a novel method in which he was able to recover a piece of the SARS coronavirus where no one else had been able to do that yet. And this was a key part of the puzzle that helped us elucidate the sequence together with the CDC and others of this scary new pathogen. The work that these students are doing now can be translated into cures tomorrow. And even more importantly, the students that we're training today are going to be the scientific investigators of tomorrow. They're going to be the scientific leaders who will decide how we can advance health in the decades to come. What's so critical for graduate education is the willingness of someone to see into the future and to be willing to make an investment in the future by investing in graduate students. Harriet and I were very excited to support the graduate student uh, program at UCSF because this program is the foundation of so much of the great scientific work that's come out of UCSF over the last 50 years. Our gift is the beginning of a major program to ensure that the flow of promising PhD students to UCSF continues unabated. The graduate students offer perhaps the greatest amplification effect for contributions, at least in our opinion. But one scientist, let alone a whole group of scientists, who then go on to do wonderful work and perhaps make clinical advances, scientific advances in different fields, can have a terrific effect, not just at UCSF, but as some of the triumphs of past programs at UCSF have shown all around the world. <laughs>